uh, regulations for banning uh, flavored uh, e-cigarette vaping uh, juices uh, will go into effect in Nova Scotia on April 1st, 2020. Uh, obviously, uh, this decision is in response to our concerns about uh, the growth in particular of youth vaping uh, in Nova Scotia. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we see research that shows that uh, as uh, people uh, start with uh, e-cigarettes or vaping, uh, they actually have a higher propensity uh, or higher probability of transitioning to traditional tobacco products as well. So this is not just about reducing uh, vaping uh, access and uh, and uh, use, uh, but also as a means to uh, stem uh, potential transfers into traditional tobacco usage as well. Uh, so that's why we've uh, taken this step and uh, I believe uh, we're the first jurisdiction in Canada to announce and implement a full uh, flavor ban on uh, e-cigarette juices. This is a really, really excellent first step. Um, we're, we're really, really excited about this decision. It represents uh, an opportunity to really curb one of the major drivers in terms of how and why youth are using these products in high numbers and, and the key driver in terms of what's getting youth addicted. So we're looking forward to working with the minister and the department on legislative changes hopefully coming in the spring. Um, I, I, we have a number of recommendations, but the core ones would involve, of course, raising the minimum age to 21, as we've recently seen done in, in Prince Edward Island. We'd like to see the number of retail locations for e-cigarettes being reduced to adult-only venues. There are a number of other options, things like banning online sales and cap capping nicotine levels are, other, are things that we've seen in other jurisdictions? Well, I think there's there's other things that we need to look at. Taxation is uh, obviously a, another deterrent. We've seen that in tobacco. Uh, it, it's reduced rates, and I think that will continue to do so. Uh, I know there's a perspective from uh, adults that are using these products. Uh, again, the, the jury is out whether or not these could be a cessation aid, but I think they need to go through that process as well uh, to prove that it is a cessation aid to help uh, that 25-year smoker that is trying to, to quit any way, uh, shape, or form, so.